Many of us heard about the rapid progress and the change in technology and the features of mobiles and computer devices, but little of us know the rules behind this progress. Nowadays, many rules control the progress of technology and the features of devices. One of these rules is Moore's Law. So, let's you know a small brief about the history of Moore's Law. Jordan Air Moore, born in Geneva, 3, 1929, in America. He was a businessman, engineer, and the co-founder and the chairman Emirates of Intel Corporation. He is also the author of Moore's Law. What is Moore's Law? Moore's Law refers to Moore's prediction that the number of transistors on a microchips doubles every two years, so the cost of computer is half. Moore's Law states that we can expect the speed and the capacity of our computers to increase every couple of years, and we will pay less for them. Moore's افترض ان عدد الترانزستور الموجود على الميكروشيب بتاع اي جهاز كمبيوتر بيتضاعف كل سنتين في مقابل ده ان سعره بيقل للنص وقال كمان اننا نقدر نتوقع سرعة وسائل جهاز الكمبيوتر واللي بتتضاعف كل سنتين بناء على القانون بتاعه Today, however, the doubling of installed transistors in silicon chips occurs closer to every 18 months instead of every 2 years. Moore's law be all in the computers, machines that run on computers and computing power but are more smaller, faster and cheaper with time. As transistors on integrated circuits become more efficient, moreover smaller and faster computers improve transportation, healthcare, education energy production, nanotechnology allows us to stand them in many fields such as surgery, clothing, and electronics, mobile devices such as smartphones and computer tablets would not work without tiny processors, neither would video games, accurate weather forecasts, and GPS. More slow impending end. Experts agree that computers should reach the physical limits of more slow at some point in the 2020s. The high temperatures of transistors eventually would make it impossible to create smaller circuits. Besides, in the cooling down, the transistors take a terminal amount of energy that already passes through the transistors. In a 2005 interview, Moore himself admitted that his law can't continue forever. It's the nature of exponential functions. So let us ask, what's next? <laughs>